Alright guys, this is Nikki and I am going to just kind of give you a tour of my ARC planner and some of the accessories that I use and um, I've posted already why I've gone um, back to paper but like so many others um, I think I've had a very similar experience in that um, I've ended up using my iPhone which was amazingly handy um, but my iPhone broke and so I lost all the information. Um, this was before um, iCloud and so nothing was really backed up except for I had pictures and you know music and stuff but as far as what was on my calendar and all of that sort of thing it was just all gone and so I kind of freaked out a little bit and I went to the um, like online planner like um, something that is on um, website calendar. Um, I used Cozy.com, C-O-Z-I.com. It's free and I do highly recommend it because it is very handy for those of you who like to use um, online things. They also have an app which I had downloaded to my phone so you can update it either on your computer or from any computer because it's not software based, it's web based. Um, and then you can also update it from your phone. Um, the nice thing about Cozy is that you can add um, other family members. You have one email, one password, and so everybody can log in and kind of put their own thing on there and color code it and all that. It's really handy. It's really nice. But um, I just kind of would forget to check it, and it just wasn't something that, um, you know, it was one of those things where even though they would send me email reminders, I would just delete them without reading them and that sort of thing. So I ended up not using it. Um, I just think paper is better for me. I used to use paper planners long ago, um, back when I was in high school. I used those little folding cat pocket calendars. I used to carry that around in my purse all the time. Um, and then once I got married, I went to wall calendars. But the problem is, um, when I started working outside the home, I didn't have access to my wall calendar all the time. So anyway, so then I went electronic, and then electronically failed me. So I decided to go back to paper. And that's when I discovered the ARC binding system. This is the um, this is the small the small size. They do come in big, like eight and a half by eleven, like full size binders or folders. Um, but I like this one. It, I try to keep it as slim as possible so that I can keep it in my purse. Um, but uh, this is what I'm using now, and I really like it. This is my third one. Um, and so I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what I've put in here for 2014. Um, last year, in 2013, I had some different dividers and stuff, and I'll post pictures of all of that in the in the blog post, But um, and I'll go into more detail about that in the blog post as well. Um, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what I've got for this year. Okay, so here is my planner. Um, this is the front cover and the back cover is black and they don't match because I um, took two different covers and put them together to make one which is one thing that I really love about the ARC planner is that it's extremely customizable even down to the cover and also the ring sizes um, so this is kind of you know how thick I have it I've tried to pare it down as much as possible which I'll show you in a minute um, but I really wanted to make it not only um, useful but also efficient. So I have a lot of stuff in here but I've really tried to pare it down to just the essentials and I keep everything else um, tucked away into um, I guess you could call it like a refill box or whatever. So anyway so this is it and I will show you the inside. Okay so the ARC planner has, um, much like any other planner, it has a place for business cards here and it has a little pocket flap here. Um, I really just try to keep pertinent information right here so that when I open it up, the first thing I see is um, the important stuff because I really don't want to have to be searching around trying to find, you know, where did I write that down or whatever because I really need to know it. Um, and also because I am forgetful, which is one of the reasons why I have this planner, um, and I will forget where I wrote it down. I won't remember to look in all the different places when I'm when I need just a reminder. So I have created a dashboard here, and this is just a plastic um, divider that you can get. It's an arc one. Um, I did have colored dividers before, but I really like black, 
that with this particular cover I think it looks sleek and I could add color using post-its or whatever and I just wrote on the top with a sharpie I wrote dashboard right at the top and I used washi tape down the side and then I just put these post-its on it and um, I've kind of used all of my tabs as dashboards sort of but this is my main one for different reminders like important stuff that I really need to remember right away um, and I've just kind of put post-its throughout each, post-its and washi tape on all my dividers, and the rest of these dividers aren't really for that sort of pertinent information so much as it is just, I didn't have a lot of room in here to keep a stack of post-its, so I've spread them out throughout the divider, the dividers, so that when I need to grab one, I can just go take it off, use it, stick it wherever. So this is my dashboard, and then when you open it up, it's immediately the calendar is the first section and I have the um, calendar tab it's traditionally supposed to be um, I'll show you it's supposed to go this way obviously because all your tabs are on the side of this way but I felt that it um, it covered up the month tabs and that bothered me I want to be able to see that whereas this stuff down here is not as important and obviously I know this is my calendar tab so I put it in upside down and it just snaps in like this. Pretty easy. And so I can change that out whenever I want. So this is the calendar tab. Um, I have staples, calendar, um, month on two pages, and then um, the week on two pages. Um, week on two pages. So that's the one I picked. Um, it's not very colorful. After I bought this, I found super cute printables. Um, online that other bloggers had made and they're just adorable and I was kicking myself that I didn't do a search first but I was worried that these would sell out and I didn't know so I bought these um, but again they're gray so I can add color through um, color coding or post-its or whatever and also I think it goes well with the whole color scheme the black the teal and the gray um, which are you know obviously as if you couldn't tell by what I'm wearing um, my favorite colors. So, um, anyway, I just have a key here um, of what it is that my color codes are for homework, church, school, and personal. Um, personal is stuff that's pertinent only to me, not my family. Home would be anything regarding my family or household duties or anything like that. Um, work, I do work outside the home part time. Church, I'm very involved in my church. I volunteer there um, in quite a lot of different areas. And then school, um, orange is actually my kid's school color, so that worked out perfectly. So I have the um, three-year reference here. And then I just have, um, if you could see here, I just have through April in my calendar, in my planner. And that's because, um, not that I, you know, don't intend on planning the rest of my months out, but it's more because of space. I have a lot in here and I have the largest discs available in here which are the one and a half inch discs and I couldn't fit any more in here so I was trying to just kind of shave off and save space anywhere possible. So I took out everything beyond April and what I did was um, I have the whole month of April but I don't have any of the week of, of the pages or anything after that. I just have these post-its here and not long after I put these post-its on here I was um, on a Facebook group about organizing and I saw a blog post from uh, giftyetc.com and um, I think if I don't have that right I'll put it in the links below but anyway she talked about future planning and she does something very similar to this so I was very excited because um, you know I'm not the only one who does that so anyway I just labeled each one of these um, for the for the rest of the year and I'll change these out as needed and I'm just putting down little dates here that I need to know so that when I get a chance I can either go and put it in the calendar pages or when I put them in my planner I know to transfer that over so it's just really for my own reference and it saves a lot of space um, so as you can see here I have all these little polka dots and everything and that is just a color code key. It just tells me at a glance I have something going on here. I have something that um, I need to do that day and then when I figure out what it is that I need to do that day or to find out what it is I turn to that week um, and then I've got um, 
I've got it all written out and highlighted. This is a, an easy work week to show you. So, so you can see here um, on January 6th, I've got three dots. I've got a yellow, I don't know if you can see the yellow, but I've got yellow, pink, and orange. And that tells me that I've got something going on personally for home and for the kids' school that day. But I don't know exactly what, so I just go to this day and it tells me here. Oh, so, and I have this little clear uh, or transparent post-it flag here, and I just wrote current week on it. And so I will know immediately opening it up, because I don't like to hash out all of the days. I've tried that before, and it ends up looking too cluttered, and it kind of bothers me. So um, I just, it, so that I know at a quick glance, current week. And it's transparent, so I can still see my dots or any writing that I have on here. So, um, so that's what that is. And then I have this um, poly envelope um, that is made by Staples. It's for the ARC specifically. Um, this is something that I find really handy because I can keep all of my color-coded markers in here, a pencil just in case. I have post-it flags. I have extra labels for the tab dividers. I have paper clips in here. But I have to keep this very minimal. Um, I tried to squeeze other things in here, like I really wanted to have some Sharpies and some other things, but just for space, first of all, it just has this little plastic zip and um, it will come apart if this gets stuffed too full. It, you'll zip it and then it'll just kind of open like that, which is annoying. Um, but I don't know right now of any other pouch that has these um, for the ARC system, so I use it now. And it works as long as I don't keep it too full, um, which I really don't need it too full anyway because I don't want my planner to be that thick. And then finally I have these um, task pads back here, which I've already shown you, just for me to easily grab. And they also work well as um, bookmarks. You see they have this little curved thing here, so if you need to use this as a tab, so you can quickly um, flip back and forth something you can, and you can move them to anywhere. If you want this to be up here, or if you want it, or you know, so you can see the tab, you just click it up there. If you don't, click it down here. And so I just have it down here. And then last but not least are these, which again are by ARC. They're on this really awesome plastic divider. So when I'm done with all these, I will be keeping this and using this. Um, but because of its thickness, I don't want to use it as a, as a divider right now because it has all these on here. These are super cute, bright colors. They are restickable and they are transparent. So you can see here, you put that on there and you can still see the lines, but you can also write on them. So, um, so I really like these a lot. And then, um, finally on my back cover, um, I talked about this before, it has the elastic band attached to it, and it's a little stretched out right now, because I have used this for over a year, um, I just am recycling it for this year's planner. But it still holds it together nicely. The pen loop is nice and high. The pen loop does, um, have a little stretchy tab on it, but it really doesn't, I mean, you don't want to try to sh j shove a big fat pen in here. This is just a pen I got from church one Mother's Day. Um, we were passing these out, and um, so I, 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 it's not like the greatest pen, but what I like about it is that it is a capped pen with this nice um, um, pen holder thingamajig. I have no idea what that's called, but anyway, um, it holds it in the loop, and so rather than struggle with getting it out each time, I just pull my pen out and put it back in. And so I write with my pen like this, this stays here, and then I just click it back in. And that makes it really easy when my planner is closed. If I just need to grab something real quick just to write with, even if it's just in my purse, I always know where there's a pen. So and I would really highly recommend you get any kind of planner if it's not um, an ARC or, you know, there's Filofax or whatever. I mean, if you don't have the money to put together a planner, like an official one, you can do anything. You can print out a piece of paper and keep it in your purse or keep it in your wallet or tape it up on your desk or 
stick a post-it to your forehead, just whatever. I would highly recommend writing things down. It is a great way to um, make sure it kind of, um, there's something about hand to brain. So when you write something down, the motion just kind of cements it in your mind. And when you see it visually, it helps you to remember that act. And so a little bit more. Now, I'm all about technology, but I really do think that it helps a lot more than the, um, you know, typing it out on a phone or an iPad or something like that. Um, reminders are great and your phones can do that and you can set that up separately if you really need those reminders and alarms but I really find that having it written down is very handy and also um, my family can access this if they need to if they need to know what's going on or whatever they can just pull this out and I have everything labeled easily so they can find it um, whereas my phone it's password protected so they may not be able to get in that if they need to if I'm not around or whatever um, also, speaking of this, while it can be stolen, and um, I've talked about that a little bit in the blog, um, I don't keep passwords or anything in here, and I'll explain a little bit about that later. I know some people do. Some people keep these as their wallets. I don't recommend doing that um, simply because it's. I don't feel that it's very secure. So that's just my personal opinion, though. And um, Anyway, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to leave me a comment or email me. Um, and make sure that you visit my blog, um, sheorganizes.blogspot.com. Thanks, guys.